It is maple syrup season. I love how making maple syrup is a job we can work on together as a family. It gets us outside just when the days are getting longer and the air is getting warmer. The sound of sap dripping into buckets is a welcome springtime sound. So this is the end result, maple syrup. Let me show you how we get there. It starts with the maple trees. We tap the trees and collect the sap into buckets. We've been doing this for over 10 years, and honestly, it's my in-laws that do most of the work. The kids have been involved since they were small, and now that they have grown up, they are both a big help. We mostly use these white plastic food buckets because they're free and they're easy to find. The metal ones are expensive, and they're hard to find, but they do look and sound so much prettier. So when I went out to paint, I made sure to paint the metal buckets first. It takes 40 liters of sap to make one liter of syrup. That's a lot of sap collecting. I've sped up the video here so you can see more of the collection process. I was editing out the sped up sound, but it was making me laugh, so I left it in. Here we're emptying the buckets into jugs on the trailer so we can take the sap back to the sugar shack. There is a lot of walking involved in this. Then all that sap needs to be boiled down. We use wood for that. A lot of wood. Again, I've sped up the video so you can see how much wood goes into this fire. It takes pretty much a whole day to boil down enough sap to yield a full batch of syrup. We need cold nights and warm days for the sap to run best. On this morning there was a light dusting of snow, and I liked how that snow wove a scattering of blue notes through the warm brown clutter of the forest floor. I did my best to work those cool notes into my painting. You can see that it was still cold as I had to put my gloves back on. This was the fun part, laying in the blue shadows onto the fresh snow. Now mind you, the snow was melting quite quickly as I kept working. Then I added the tree shadows, and then I was done. A few days later we had more snow, so I made sure to go out. If you listen carefully, you can hear the birds that are singing in the woods here. Sap's frozen solid. Nothing's running. But that'll change. I'm out here sketching this morning. It's March 25th and we've got snow and then the sun came out so I'm definitely out here to paint it because we don't get this combination all the time and uh, this little sketch that I've done so far this morning sums up what it looks like out here. It's the sun's shining but it's still cold so uh, some of that comes through in the picture. I, it doesn't have a lot of warm rosy tones or orangey shades, mostly because the, the leaves that normally bounce bright light up into the tree trunks, um, it's covered with snow. You might wonder why I'm out here. Why am I painting out here? And uh, 
part of it is just for practice. And part of it is I just love the idea that our family can make food from trees. It's just so cool. So I'm out here celebrating the fact that it's spring and the fact that um, we can be outside doing something useful. After I finished that first chilly morning painting, I decided to do another one. The day was warming up, and so I wanted to make this one a bit warmer in color to reflect um, the changing elements around me. As I worked, the snow melted, and uh, the warm colors and the leaves on the ground began to bounce up into the tree trunk areas. In making this video, I've used a lot of sped up footage. This was in an effort to keep things interesting and moving along at a good pace. I'd really like to know what you think about it. Please make a comment below or visit my website and send me an email through the contact link that you can find there. So here's how my second sketch turned out. And in this one I tried to put more of the warmth of the sunshine into this painting compared to the one I did earlier this morning. And that was a little easier because it has warmed up and some of the snow is melting and some of those orange leaves are starting to poke through the snow and that lets light reflect off those orange leaves and onto the bark and it warms things up just a touch.